I would play with a white band behind the curtain, behind the stage. I couldn't be seen, you see, playing with white people. And a lot of bands disbanded through this effect, and uh, we thought, no, we're going to save this, and they're not going to dictate to us what to do. So we skipped South Africa. Foremost amongst these groups were the Blue Notes, led by white pianist Chris McGregor, their mix of township queller music and hard bop would transform British jazz. London was the mecca of jazz then. Mecca, like uh, Paris and London, was the mecca of jazz. So we decided to come here for a challenge and for everything else. <laughs> for London as well, you know, like people have never had a trumpet player like Mongis giving that energy. And people like Dudu was magic Dudu. Chris McGregor, the greatest composer, you know, really. Piano player, fantastic. There was a muscularity about their music which I hadn't heard quite in the same way and it was very different from American jazz. I mean, you could hear those African